Well, welcome back to another episode of the Angler's Logbook. It is an absolute ripper day in Nelson, and we are down here at the port, and we are about to film an episode uh, where we're going to be casting some lines uh, off the beach here, and see if we can get hooked on some snapper or car wire, just whatever's going to be swimming about. You do get the odd kingfish coming past here as well, so um, we're fishing the incoming tide. It's uh, just past low tide at the moment, so we're going to spend a few hours uh, fishing uh, either here or around these parts. Uh, for the next wee while and we'll see what we can get hooked up to but um, yeah we really appreciate you watching we hope you enjoy the episode So change of plans, uh, you might have been catching on that we didn't actually catch any fish while we were up in Nelson. We spent three nights up there and probably spent about a total of 12 hours fishing. We tried surf casting down at the port at Tahuna Nui. Uh, we also went over to Ruby Bay and it didn't matter where we went but we just couldn't seem to get onto any fish. Uh, the whole time we were there we didn't even hook up to any. So since Nelson wasn't up to much in terms of the fishing, we decided to head down the coast to Kaikoura and man did it turn around. Kaikoura was awesome, we got into so much action while we were there, a heap of fish. So when we first turned up in Kaikoura, it was scorching hot, 30 degrees, and so we decided to kick things off with a bit of wharf jumping down at South Bay, and what a way to start the trip. we did manage to get out fishing so um, we went out on a new Stabie Craft 2050 uh, it was brand new just got before Christmas uh, it's 15 hours on the motor and we had an awesome day out on the water it was beautiful conditions and we got amongst the fish uh, I think by the end of the day we ended up having a total of eight blue cod a couple of tarakihi and some sea perch we also got into all sorts like barracuda um, some dogfish, uh, parrotfish, uh, banded wrasse, yeah just heaps. A lot of barracuda out strangely enough um, but it was beautiful out there, beautiful conditions and such abundance in the sea life. Uh, we saw seals, we saw dolphins and it was just an awesome day out with family and friends uh, so we'll play that footage for you now.
So as you'll be finding out, we did get amongst the uh, ocean in Kaikoura. Uh, we had planned to go out surfing as well, but the conditions weren't quite favourable for that. So instead of that, um, on one of our final evenings there, we went out for a spearfish. Now this is something I've never done before, so as you'll pick up on in the coming clips, uh, it was a lot of uh, mucking around, trying to figure out how to use uh, the gear. I hadn't even been in the water with fins for about seven or eight years we worked out. And so it was partly uh, learning to snorkel and swim with fins again, uh, but also taking around a Hawaiian sling and seeing some awesome uh, marine life. Uh, we did see some uh, nice big stingrays, uh, butterfish, moki, uh, and a few other species. Uh, the other guys had uh, some good success on the spear guns, and they managed to get a few uh, butterfish to take home. So uh, we'll roll on that footage for you now. shoes in here. <laughs> but, um, is that how you feel out your catch, is it? So we had an awesome time in Kaikoura. Nelson was beautiful as well, even though we didn't get into the fish. But man, we've had such a good time over the last week. We hope you really enjoyed this episode. I know it would be packed full of content. Uh, some good footage we got over our time away um, but next week we're going to be heading back down south and uh, we're going to be filming a knife sharpening tutorial with uh, Jono from JM Knives um, he's the one that makes our beautiful knives on our website at theanglerslogbook.com uh, but if you have enjoyed this video then please do subscribe go check out our website it supports our channel and if you want to see more videos it's a great way to get involved um, so yeah, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next week.